Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Good Boxing Podcast with your host, Josh Size. I'm going to jump right into this episode. Manny Pacquiao, make a decision. I'm a big Manny Pacquiao fan. I'm totally aware of the fact that Manny Pacquiao is arguably the biggest or second biggest star in boxing. You already know the history, eight-time, eight-division world champion, et cetera, et cetera. The list goes on. Shocked Keith Thurman when everyone thought you were washed and you couldn't beat the young in his prime champion, undefeated, et cetera. It's been two years now since you fought Keith Thurman. You relinquished your WBA super champion due to being, I guess, in recess or whatever that means. But we've heard several different names. We've heard Terrence Crawford. We've heard Mikey Garcia. We've heard even Errol Spence. Now, again, I'm totally aware that Manny Pacquiao is in a stage of his career where he can make whatever decision he wants. He's a legend. He's fought the best of the best. You can't argue that Pacquiao hasn't had a long list of premium opponents. However, now the list is getting a little crazy. The rumors are constantly changing every day, and it just seems like everyone's really up for Manny Pacquiao. Originally, it was supposed to be Ryan Garcia. Then it was. Mikey Garcia ended up not being Mikey Garcia. Then it was confirmed by Boo Boy that it was going to be Terrence Crawford, the pound for pound, arguably number one fighter in the world, definitely number two for sure on my list. Then Mike Coppinger released that fight's dead. And now, evidently, a fight with Errol Spence, the truth, is supposed to happen. I was like, wow, oh man, Errol Spence, Manny Pacquiao is a fantastic fight. Surprise, surprise, a few days later, that fight's apparently not going to happen. And now it's back to Mikey Garcia, who originally was the front runner for the fight. He is constantly talking about fighting Pacquiao. And it actually made perfect sense because Pacquiao hasn't fought in a while. And truthfully, Coming off Keith Thurman, a two-year layoff, the last thing you want to do is fight an in-his-prime, rugged, gritty Errol Spence. He's a unified champion, tested, fought a bunch of good guys. That's the last guy I want to fight, someone that's tall, long, has really, really good experience, a great boxer, and a southpaw, let's be honest. I really, if I was a southpaw on a two-year layoff, the last person I want to fight is someone like Errol Spence. Terrence Crawford's untested. He hasn't been tested as much as Errol Spence, in my opinion. And quite frankly, I think Manny Pacquiao probably would do better against Terrence Crawford than Errol Spence. However, I do think the Mikey Garcia fight makes sense. Mikey Garcia is not a big 147-pounder. And truthfully, if you really look back at the career of Manny Pacquiao, Yes, he's made a fantastic career at 147, but I personally think his perfect weight is 140 pounds. And 140 pounds, he's a phenomenal fighter. And when I mean a phenomenal fighter, I don't think he's ever lost, truthfully. So Mikey Garcia really belongs at 140 and maybe even 135. His power translates a lot better at that weight. And the rumors are that he's supposed to fight Mikey Garcia. So... I think that's a fantastic fight. And honestly, I have no problem with the fight. The only problem I have is I just want to know who you're going to fight. I keep making these videos. I keep getting very, very good sources on who Manny Pacquiao is supposed to fight, except from everybody but Manny Pacquiao. And I just want to hear more or less who you're going to fight just so we can kind of move on and get ready for the fight because I'm anxious to see Manny Pacquiao in action. I don't care who it is against. It doesn't matter at this point in his career. I just want to see a good fight with the legend Manny Pacquiao. Regardless of his past, regardless of whoever he lost to, regardless of what happened with Keith Thurman, whether it's against Spence, whether it's against Crawford, truthfully, I don't care. I just want to see the legend in action because I know if he wins this fight, he's going to prop himself up for a potential mega fight with someone else. Or, look, he can just ride off into the sunset, get a nice payday, and then live on with his life. I'm curious to see who he's going to fight because Manny Pacquiao, every time he fights, is box office, and rightfully so. 
I feel bad because I really thought the Crawford fight was going to happen. And then Mike Coppinger released that the Dubai investors decided to pull out. And that was kind of a sad thing, in my opinion, because I want Crawford to test himself. And why not against one of the best 147 pounders of all time? Right. Why not? I mean, Crawford has this high esteem, yet he's never been tested. And I'm not trying to hate on Crawford because I did pick Crawford to win in that fight. But again, untested. Manny Pacquiao has all the pedigree, all the tests in the world. He's fought the best of the best. And you never know what could happen come fight night. However, how do you guys really feel about this Manny Pacquiao fight? I think Mikey Garcia, while not the biggest 147 pounder, he is a tall, strong 140 pounder, arguably 147 pounds. And I think his counter punching ability will make the fight with Manny Pacquiao very interesting. However, I do think a Spence is a little too big for Pacquiao because, again, Pacquiao isn't a big 147 pounder, and Spence is a big 147 pounder. I can see Spence moving up down the line. So I think Mikey Garcia can make the fight interesting, and he's a big name, and the fight's going to generate a lot of buzz and generate a lot of ticket sales slash pay-per-view buys. I think the fight is good for Manny Pacquiao's legacy too because he's been off for two years. He's a champion in recess. And him being active, I think, if I'm not mistaken, according to the, according to the rules, he's going to become the WBA super champion. So whoever wins this fight, let's say Mikey Garcia wins. I don't know if there's going to be a rematch clause. Clearly, it might be built in. It might not be. Who knows nowadays, especially with the Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury stuff going on. What does a rematch clause even really mean anymore, right? But whoever wins this fight controls a piece of that very, very lucrative 147-pound pie when it comes to belts. And if Mikey Garcia were to win, who's to say he won't get a rematch with Spence? Will the same thing happen? Probably, if he did fight Spence again. But I know he said that he wants to get in the ring with Spence again. Also, maybe Mikey Garcia gets into a fight with Terrence Crawford. Maybe Terrence Crawford finally gets that long, elusive test that he's looking for. Even though I don't think Mikey Garcia can pull it off, they have fought in the amateurs, and I think it would be a pretty good fight. I'm being honest with you. I know people would pick Crawford, and Crawford most likely would win, but it's a fight that I want to see. And especially if Mikey Garcia were to beat Manny Pacquiao, then you could arguably start making the case that maybe he's filled out at 147 and he may move on to bigger and better things. Maybe get that rematch. Maybe he tries to unify. Who knows? I mean, Mikey Garcia is chasing greatness. He really didn't like the fact that he looked embarrassed and overmatched in 147. And let's say Pacquiao wins. He gets back, elevated to WBA super champion. Those fights with Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford are still on the table. I think Terrence Crawford really does want the Manny Pacquiao fight. But now looking back, I can totally see Terrence Crawford fighting someone like Virgil Ortiz or someone in the top ranked stable because clearly this was a, in my opinion, almost like dangling a treat in front of a puppy trying to satisfy them. All of a sudden, your investor doesn't come through. Come on, that, that kind of just sounds like some BS that top rank came up with. And I feel bad for Terrence Crawford because he's a really good fighter. I just don't know if he's going to be able to showcase that in his prime, and that's a shame. So, Manny Pacquiao, I'm a little frustrated because you constantly keep changing your narrative on who you're fighting. It was Ryan Garcia, then it was Mikey Garcia. That didn't go through. Then it was Terrence Crawford officially, for sure. Then it's Errol Spence when that fight's dead. And now it's back to Mikey Garcia. It's a little frustrating, but you know what? You're Manny Pacquiao. I'll give you a little bit of slack because you're a legend. You could truthfully fight whoever you want. And honestly, the fact that you're still fighting, given the fact that you've done so many things in your life, I get it. But please just give us who you're going to fight just so we can prepare. You can prepare. And it won't be a shock when the fight finally happens. So those are my thoughts on this episode. Let me know what you think. Who should Manny Pacquiao fight? Would you be happy with him fighting Mikey Garcia? I know I am. But personally, I did want to see that Spence fight, and I did want to see that Crawford fight. But I'll take a Mikey Garcia fight because potentially, who knows where it'll lead down the line. So if you're not following now, feel free to follow. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification button. 
If you're on Spotify or Apple, feel free to hit that follow button as well. That really, really helps the channel. Thank you so much for all your support. And if you're not on Instagram, following us at Good Boxing Podcast. Thank you and be well.